Well, hi everyone again. Just thought I'd do a, another quick video. Just show you around one of my uh, Huina loader that I've had. I've had it for about three months. Great bit of kit, but it does need a bit of upgrading, as you probably know with them. Uh, there's the standard controller. I won't go into much detail with that. You've got your sound on, off and on, lights off and on, and everything like that. Use the actual loader. Got a bit of a different camera angle here because it's so big it barely fits on, barely fits on the bench. Turn it around. I've only got the bucket temporarily held on because I, I take that off just to uh, for storage. I'll turn it this way. It weighs an absolute ton, by the way, especially with these upgraded wheels on it. that so, like not too bad when I had it in bits I decided to leave the six screws off to hold this back cab on because uh well back engine cover on because uh once it's all back together you can't get the screws anyway so I can take that off if needed you got your you got your standard Huina rebars this one's got four of them in <laughs> my uh timber truck's got two in it and my excavator's got two in it these have got four in it I'd usually take them out and smooth off the edges and just give them a bit of paint on them. But that's uh, that's what gives it its weight. Put that back on. Now, it's not too bad out of the box. But there are a few upgrades you can do. It weighs an absolute ton on a weight for everyone. Let's get it there. Let's get it so you can see it. Move that right there. Is that that's better? I'll turn her on. Fire her up. Or was it on in the first place? Right, there we are. Transmission's on. Turn the sign off for now. There we are. I'll give a quick run. It just there's not a lot of room here, but so let's just steer in. Let's reverse. Forward. One of the first upgrades I've done, and you can't see it very well. Look at that. One of the first upgrades I've done is that bar. It's slightly longer than the standard one. It gives your bucket a bit more travel, especially when it's pointing down. It can dig into the ground better. And then the major upgrades I've done on this are the um, tires. These are real rubber tires are solid rubber and the wheels these are machine brass solid brass uh, wheels they make a world of difference you've got the standard wheel and tire which weighs something like 120 or 140 grams and these one wheel and tire weighs something similar it's almost 700 grams just for the tire and a wheel like i said it's solid real rubber it's machine brass wheel you got a choice of the your maker's name on the front. You got Michelin on one side, or you got the Magom. I think that's what they're called, Magom. Uh, on the other side, they're a, a Spanish company. That's where all the upgrades came from. That's the I say. There's the tires. Let's show you a bit better. There's the tires. Solid rubber, but work. They work really well. Well, another upgrade and this is quite a, quite a major one this and uh, this this loader it doesn't come in any articulation it whatsoever so 
if you go onto the Megon website, you can down get a uh, not download, I should say, you can buy a um, axle articulation kit for the back. It's only about twenty pound. It does involve you having to, with a hacksaw, literally cutting through in two places in, into the original chassis. But when you've done that, you then got your rear axle art articulation. Then turn it around that way. You can see, you can see it even better probably if I show you both tires. So that's the articulation kit. It makes it so much better when it as standard there's no articulation at all and it just it just doesn't go over uneven ground at all now 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 you've got this you've got that see back wheel still on the ground that way so that's another upgrade so you've got the tires and you've got the wheels upgrade you've got the rear axle articulation upgrade Three other upgrades that you, which you can't see but which are inside is i've done the uh, motors rear the front and rear drive motors and gearboxes upgrade they're all uh, machined aluminium and everything and they're sealed up they're very, very easy to fit that's all done it makes it run a lot better you've still got a problem with it uh sometimes when you're say if you're digging into the dirt and the front wheels will come off the ground they'll still turn and you sort of lose power a little bit to the back ones that are still on the ground. I think that's something down to the main board. Which is just another upgrade you can do. But for the moment now I'm happy with that. And and the last upgrade is the um, steering servo. Which is not servo. I should say the steering motor which is in here underneath the cab. It's a combined motor and gearbox. that goes in there. You take the original ones out. Same with the front and drive axles and motors you take those out as well uh, it's quite a complex the uh, job but uh, it's worth it in the end should be able to if i get that there you can see a little bit of the articulation because it's still plugged in but uh it's switched on but no sound is off so there's your there's your steering and then in the rear axle, here we are. It's a lot. It's a lot more power in it with the upgraded wheel, upgraded axles and gearboxes. You can tell, and that's still running on the original battery. One little other upgrade I did, which you can just just about see him. While I was on the Maygon website ordering these upgrades, they had a brooder uh, construction worker, I think he's called, driver, which I managed to get in there. And just just about to see him. It's his reflection. Comes with a hard hat. I've taken the hard hat and I've epoxied the hard hat there. Put some stickers in the cab. What I have done when you when you order your upgrades from Maygon, hope I'm pronouncing that right, um, you've got a choice, like, so with your, with your brass wheels, you can have them just plain brass, or they will powder coat them for you, if you want them, but I just left them, uh, unpainted brass, and I, this paint is actually white primer, it's had three coats of white primer, and what I've also done is, I took the cab off, and I paint, Used some paint stripper and took the cab back to bare metal. And I painted that white. That's white primer again. And I've added just with some masking tape and a little out with an airbrush. Put the red line back in place. So there you are. That's my Arena loader. Very heavy loader. Weighs an absolute ton. I'll stick the engine on again for you for a minute. Hope you like that quick video on my Huina loader. 
stay tuned for more chat for more videos and uh please like and subscribe and tick that notification bell so any new videos will get go straight to your uh mobile and you'll be the first to see them thanks again cheers